is up guys for today what is up guys thanks for joining us on our quest to explore every anytime fitness in singapore so today for our second stop we'll be exploring anytime fitness Kelam. and before i get into the detail review let me show you a quick overview of what anytime fitness Kelam has to offer Alright, so that was the quick glimpse of Anytime Fitness Gelang. Now I'll proceed with our detailed review. Be sure to stay till the end to hear our final ratings. So what makes this outlet unique right is that it's located in a shop house, 3 storeys high and they occupy all the 3 storeys. Literally your outlet is surrounded by amenities, especially food. As you enter the outlet, you are immediately greeted with a reception area. Progress along and you can see the cardio area which consists of your treadmill, elliptical and also your stationary bicycle. I find that it's a good mix because sometimes you know that you get bored of doing treadmill. At least you can switch between the two, you know. And I specifically like this treadmill brand, right? They have this like Netflix and also YouTube feature which I can serve while doing cardio. Because you know sometimes you guys do your cardio like more than 20 or 30 minutes, right? It can be like very boring. So with this YouTube and Netflix feature, right? It can accompany you throughout your whole cardio workout, making it like bearable, I'll say. Apart from that, as you go along the first floor, right, the rest of it is just accessories machine. Most of the leg accessories machine are located at the first floor. So if you find something that's missing, it might be on the second floor. But honestly, from what I can remember, right, the second floor has only a Smith machine and also your adductors and adductors. Other than that, there's also your multi-purpose training machines, mainly to do your typical cable chest flies, tricep pull down and your legs pull down. And I also like how organized the handles were. Cause you know some outlets right, their handles are literally all over the place. If it's not there, then it's somewhere else. Sometimes you can't even find it. And also judging by the fact that we came at around 2-3pm to 3 PM on a Sunday right, it's still quite neat and tidy. Because uh, some outlets around that timing, some of the handles are literally just like everywhere already. So it might differ for each outlet, but for this outlet apparently on Sundays, it's still okay. Also what caught my attention were their unique handles. Some of them have different shapes, uh, some of them of different lengths too. I would say to me it's quite unique because for some of the outlets that I've went, the variations is just like just the length only, either a shorter version or long version. But this one has also different shapes. Uh. You guys can check it out and try. For me, not really much of a difference but I just found it unique. So if you guys feel like this handles can activate different parts of your muscles right then feel free to try it then at the end <laughs> at the end of the first floor right is your washroom and also your locker area the washroom there's two shower cubicles two toilets and also one changing room so for the toilet right it's clean there's also your handheld beaded spray and also your toilet paper. It's also well maintained, smells nice. Moving on is your shower area. You have two different types of shower heads, water heater and also your shower gel. The basin area is just outside. 
apart from washing your hands right there's also a hair dryer on the right side for those of you who shower i'm not really sure whether is it dyson brand or not you guys be the judge there's also a changing room which i find is quite nice spacious and also well decorated for you guys to take your you know bump photos or post-workout photos that kind of thing you know another thing to take note right is that the locker area has 24 locks uh, so bear in mind that during peak hours you may not have a space to put your bag if you are in dire need for pre or post workout consumables there's also a vending machine just beside the locker area you can enjoy your consumables by sitting on that indoor dining area which is beside the vending machine and that's it for the first floor so if you want to proceed to the second floor right you just have to go back to the entrance and see this uh, opening staircase then you can just go up while you're making your way up right you'll notice that there's a poster of the staff members if you have any inquiries you can just contact them upon entering the second floor the free weights area is on your right you'll see the fixed barbell and also the dumbbell rack slightly ahead is your power rack for those of you who use the booty builder right especially the ladies it's located beside the power rack i'll touch on the dumbbell area first there are sufficient weights ranging from light to heavy and the good thing is, all of the weights are located in one area because as you know right, certain outlets separate their light and heavy so the light one ranges from 1kg to 10kg whereas the heavy ones start from 12.5 so it might be inconvenient for some to keep going back and forth the barbells and also dumbbells are well maintained however, the area can be tight due to limited space it might be inconvenient to take or either return the dumbbell when the gym is occupied and also when the gym is occupied right it's hard for you to do your standing dumbbell or barbell workouts for the power racks wise there are two power racks for you to do your compound lifts the weights are easily accessible because it's in the middle the weights and the bar are also clean well maintained one drawback i noticed is that there's no deadlift platform for those of you who are uncomfortable on deadlifting on a rubbery surface or maybe a constrained space it might be very awkward for you all I don't know about you guys but that's what I feel sometimes because sometimes if you are very used to deadlifting in open areas because most gyms right the deadlifts area are quite open when you suddenly deadlift in a platform or in an area which is quite enclosed or quite tight right this might seem off or feel a bit awkward yeah so if it's not a drawback for you then that's good you can just continue but this is just for those who feel that it might pose a problem for you guys apart from that i find everything's okay uh. clips are there the weights are there so yeah that's pretty much it for your dumbbell barbell power rack series if you're to go to the other side right before you head on to the machines and all under the staircase you would notice that there are gym essentials such as your medicine ball resistance band and also your skipping rope there are also other equipments for you to use but if you're unsure on how to use it not to worries you can either ask the staff or you can attend the classes because some of the equipments are used for their classes i will give you the class details later as you move on from the staircase area the rest of it are your accessories machine and also your smith machine the rest of the accessories machine are mainly for your chest your back and also your arms other than that for legs is only your abductors adductors and booty builder then let's go on to the third floor at the very top floor is a spacious functional area sort of a balcony platform overlooking the power rack of the second floor the functional area right is nicely decorated with skylights but at that time there were no classes going on so we did our warm-ups there i would say that this area is very good to do your warm-ups as well as your body weight training because there's also a sense of privacy over there on top of that they had a bunch of step platforms kettlebells foam roller as well as an ergo and abs bench this is where the group classes are conducted the group classes right there's not only one type of classes there's also multiple types of classes i'll show you guys the classes right now you guys can pause and also take a look and slowly read the classes that this outlet has to offer and that wraps up our detailed review for this outlet if you're wondering on how to get there i will tell you now anytime fitness gelang is located in the central area we recommend taking bus or the MRT instead of driving because there are limited parking lots. There are no multi-story car parks there. If you are taking the MRT, right, you just need to take to Paya Lebar and you exit from exit D. It's a less than 10 minutes walk. While walking to Anytime Fitness Gelang, we saw that there were a lot of shop houses and we passed by a lot of food options like scissors cut, curry rice and also the rocho bean curd house. So those are your post-workout meal options. And if you're taking the bus, 
I've already placed the bus stop code in the video so those bus services number that you see in the video are the ones that take you to Anytime Fitness Geelang so after you alight from the bus stop it's like a short 1 to 2 minute walk to Anytime Fitness Geelang now on to the last portion of the video we'll be giving our final ratings the gym is assessed based on 5 components number 1 is accessibility number 2 is space number 3 is equipment Number 4 is cleanliness slash maintenance and number 5 is additional services. Number 1, accessibility. Anytime fitness gelang is accessible because you can get there easily regardless of your mode of transport. To add on, <coughs> to add on the outlet itself is fairly near to the shopping malls at Paya Leba, making it very convenient. Hence, we rate it 4 out of 5 for accessibility, 1 point off for parking. Because if you are driving right, the parking lots there are quite limited. Number two, space. The outlet itself has a shop house design, making it unique. Every space is utilized, hence we give it a three out of five. The narrow layout around the free weight section right might be very tight during peak hours. There's also limited mirror areas, as there's only mirrors on the level two and also level three. Number three, equipment. So if you are going there for your own personal workout, regardless of what body part you are hitting right, everything is already provided, be it legs, chest or back, from compound all the way to accessories machine, the variety is there. On the other hand, if you are going there for their in-house classes, all the equipments are already provided for you. So in terms of variety, that condition is ready for field. The equipments are well maintained, fairly new and also not broken. So for equipment, we we'll give it a 4 out of 5. One point off for no daily platform. Number 4. Cleanliness. The washrooms are clean and also well maintained. Throughout our whole workout, be it at the first, second or third floor, right, we didn't see any dirty areas or any dirty equipment. So with that, 5 out of 5 for cleanliness. And lastly, number 5, additional services. This is the greatest variety of classes we have seen so far. When we were there, the membership consultant was actually quite friendly. He explained everything that we wanted to know. We'll give it a 4 out of 5 for additional services. And that wraps up our review for Anita Fitness Gala. I hope you guys found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.